Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? Be able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, before we get into this video, make sure you head on down to Instagram once again and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, we got an interesting story on our hands today, y'all. Um, Unfortunately, three young lives was taken recently, with the youngest of them being just one year old due to gun violence going down in Chicago. Now, real quick, let me put my two cents in before... Um, I say anything because I find something very cringing about this whole situation and people's responses, right? Now, I find it sickening slash cringing how people find it so normal that these two teens were shot and killed, you know, um, as well as the other teens that were shot that wasn't killed. But they're never minding their young lives, but putting more attention to the one-year-old baby as if the situation as a whole isn't unfortunate. You know, this right here is part of the problem as well, because it became so normal for teens to be killing each other at the tender ages of 13, 14, 16, 19, that people don't even acknowledge it anymore. So now when a one year old is caught in the middle, now it's oh, we need to stop the gun violence. We need to put the guns down. You know, why do we wait until it's too late? Why do we wait until someone or something so tragic like this happens before we realize what's going on, you know? So I just hope we could be proactive instead of reactive. Because if we were, then that one-year-old would still have her life. Those two teens would still have their lives. And something tells me that if that one-year-old didn't lose her life, this story wouldn't be as big as it is right now. It'll just be labeled another day in Chicago, unfortunately, right? But anyway, here's how the story goes. Around 10.40 p.m. Sunday night, February 19, 2023, a shooting occurred in the northbound lanes of I-57 near 111th Street. Now, one-year-old Amara Hall, 13-year-old William Smith, and 19-year-old Nasir Hall were all shot and killed. Sources say Smith and Nasir was brothers, and the one-year-old girl in the car was the daughter of Nasir. Three other individuals, including a 14-year-old boy, was injured during the attack and taken to a nearby children's hospital. However, Chicago's fire department didn't specify their injuries, saying they were in fear to serious condition, but did survive. Though it's not much detail surrounding the shooting and what happened, Illinois State Police say that six of the individuals were driving on the I-57 highway in the northbound lane when so much as 32 bullets were shot into their SUV. The SUV managed to get off at an exit after the shooting, which is where police reported to the scene. Police says that Nasir Hall and William Smith was dead on arrival and the one-year-old was taken to a children's hospital where she later succumbed to her injuries and passed away as well. Now, if you know, let me tell you all this, right? If you know you out here like that and you got problems in the streets, do not ride around with anybody in your car. You're putting innocent people in jeopardy because of the street BS that you got going on. You know, you're bringing innocent lives into something they aren't aware of, putting them at stake. Could you imagine losing a friend, a child, or relative due to somebody else's bullcrap? Like, it could have been anybody in that car. It could have been his grandmother. It could have been his mother. It could have been somebody else's mother. It could have, it could have been anybody. You know, matter of fact, y'all remember when Jonte Adams, a.k.a. Rich Wade Teller, he went through the same situation? You know, the same man that got on social media, taunting his ops. And when they caught up with him, they ended up killing his seven-year-old daughter by mistake. You know, because she was caught in the middle of gunfire. I'm sure that they didn't mean to kill her. But guess what? <laughs> That's what came with it. Meanwhile, he's still alive. You know, an innocent life was taken 
due to his ignorance. Do you see how that works? But the way karma works is now he has to live with the feeling forever knowing his daughter is no longer here because of him. You know, and I'm not going to sit here and bash him because when we covered that story, he actually reached out to us and we spoke about the situation. But just know, y'all, sometimes your actions can affect others around you. And sometimes there's no coming back from it. You know, do I think these guys meant to kill a one year old? No. But that's the thing. Your ops ain't stopping to think about who's around you. If you, if they got the drop on you, simple as that. Maybe if he was visibly with his daughter or some kids or whatever the case may be, they might have gave him a pass. You know, they might have. Some people do that. They believe in, you know, not running down on the dude while he got his, his kids with him or his girl with him or whatever. Some people don't care. But the fact that they was invisible, the fact, you know, being in the car, all your ops know is that you was in that car. You the person they want. Simple. They don't got time to see who's in the car or wonder who's in the car. Some people don't care. So as far as the children who who lives are in danger, it's just a matter of wrong place, wrong time, unfortunately. You know, but let this be a lesson, man. For the people out there, please watch who lives you are putting in danger. If you know you out there like that, if you know you're doing whatever you're doing in the street, don't have innocent people around you where you could put their lives at stake. Simple. Because if you survive whatever attack that comes with it and they don't, you got to live with that. You got to live with your family blaming you. You got to live with your friends blaming you. You got to live with you blaming you. You see what I'm saying? Now, it's reported that over the holiday weekend of President's Day, five people were killed and two of them included teenagers among the 10 people who was wounded in shootings in Chicago alone. You know, so... Don't just want peace. Don't just say you want peace because it's a trend. You have to actually want it and take action. You know, this won't be the last time, but at the end of the day, at least try to make an effort into making peace to where we can minimize certain things like this. Now, a one-year-old daughter is gone. Um, I see the mother. I went on Instagram. I went on. I found the mother's page. I see the mother. She's mourning her daughter. She's mourning um, her daughter's father. She lost two people in one. You know, she lost somebody that she loved, but she also lost a daughter. How do you talk to somebody that lost a child, let alone their daughter? One years old. You know, so it's kind of hard, man. At the end of the day, this is a very unfortunate situation. Um, Like I said earlier, it kind of spooked me out and it's cringing that a lot of people would just focus on the fact that the one year old lost her life. You know, when it was teens involved. So to me, it's not just about the one-year-old. It's about all of them. Because guess what, right? The one-year-old isn't the one that had someone trying to take her life. The one-year-old isn't the target. So in order to tackle this problem at hand, we have to also get through to these teenagers who are out here taking each other's lives, you know, to prevent this from being a continuous cycle. So my condolences go out to the family and everybody that lost their lives, especially the one year old that didn't even get a chance at life. Prayers be well. Um, as for now, man, y'all know what to do. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.